guys, my name is Ahmed, and in this tutorial series, you're going to learn how to build a to-do app with Slash GraphQL. So here's a brief overview of this tutorial. So this tutorial is for people who want to get started with Slash GraphQL. We want to cover the basics of connecting your existing front end to a Slash GraphQL backend. If you don't have an existing front end, don't worry. We have one created for you. And ideally, this whole tutorial will take less than five minutes. So here are the things you're going to learn in this tutorial. So you're going to learn how to create and deploy a database on Slash GraphQL. You're going to learn how to create a GraphQL schema completely from scratch. You're going to be able to add, query, delete, whatever, data from your database. And you're going to be able to link a front end to a Slash GraphQL backend. So what are the prerequisites for this tutorial? There's not much. The only main one is that you're going to need to know the basics of GraphQL. You need to know how to structure a query, structure a mutation. If you don't have this knowledge, you can still go through this tutorial, but you'll need to learn it after to get the full benefit of this tutorial. Uh, we're also going to need a basic knowledge of NPM. First of all, you're going to need NPM installed, and you're going to need to know how to run basic NPM commands. NPM install, NPM start, for example. With all that said, Let's get started with the tutorial. Here's a quick preview of what we're going to create in this tutorial series. So we're going to make a to-do app, uh, which is connected to a backend, and that you can see your tasks and add new tasks, all in under five minutes. Let's get started. 